the biggest fear is always how far is this going to go before someone gets hurt. And now I feel like this is what it's come to. The trustees say the mayor should have immediately launched an investigation. They're calling on the mayor and the unnamed trustee to resign. For you to cover up something like this, allegations of someone doing this to someone, is horrible. And you cannot leave the village of Dalton under these circumstances. Everybody involved, if you hold a position, you should resign immediately. There's already enough shame being, being brought to this village. How much more? Absolutely. Shout out to trustees Tammy Brown, Norwood, and Belcher. Right now, they are speaking out against Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, that's been destroying the village and Thorne Township, spending all of the money, retaliating against business owners, employees, residents, both men and women. The latest two people that accused her of retaliation is a police officer and her former assistant. Both of them are part of a complaint that accused Mayor Tiffany Tahoe of hiding some insane allegations against one of the trustees who went on the trip with her to Las Vegas. According to the complaint, the woman and the officer met with Tiffany the day after the alleged incident. The super mayor told the woman to trust her. She was going to get down to the bottom of it. Next thing you know, the woman was placed on leave and eventually terminated. Now the trustees are calling for the resignation of the mayor and that trustee involved in that alleged incident. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time, let's go ahead and get into it. More drama in Dalton tonight. Several trustees are calling on the mayor and another village trustee to resign. Both are at the center of an investigation. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop started working on this case six months ago. She joins us now with more on what she's learned. Regina. I'm Marion and Stefan. Oh, we obtained copies of complaints accusing Mayor Tiffany Hanyard and an unnamed Dalton trustee of sexual harassment, retaliation, and discrimination. And the Department of Human Rights tells us it is investigating. At the center of it all, a trip they all took last year to Las Vegas and a sexual encounter one woman says was not consensual. I want to clarify something early on here. There are six trustees in Dalton, three women, three men. We can eliminate the three women because none of them went on the trip. Also, the trustee the woman is accusing of doing this is a man. That will leave you with three trustees that are men. We can also cross off trustee Jason House because he wasn't there either. Trustee Jason House did not go on the Vegas trip with Tiffany. The only two trustees who went on the trip with her are Trustee Stanley Brown and Trustee Andrew Holmes. They are the ones who went on the trip with Tiffany Tahoe and members of her administration. It was a trip that she and her team planned and they used money from both Dalton and Thornton Township to fund that trip. They spent tens of thousands of dollars to go there and that's where this alleged incident took place. There are six elected trustees on the Dalton Village Board. Some of them joined Mayor Tiffany Henyard last May on an economic development trip to Las Vegas. It was on that trip that the mayor's now former assistant claims she was the victim of an unwanted sexual encounter carried out by an unnamed Dalton trustee. She filed this complaint with the Department of Human Rights. According to the woman's complaint, after having dinner with the unnamed trustee, she started to feel disoriented. Then she blacked out. The next morning, she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there, experiencing physical discomfort. Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, also filed a complaint with the Human Rights Department. He also went on that trip to Vegas and says in his complaint, the unnamed trustee called him on the phone and told him he had unprotected sex with the woman. In the complaint, he says he recorded some of their conversation. According to both complaints, the woman says when she told the mayor about the incident, the mayor said if this information became public, she'd be ruined. All the work she'd done would be lost. The ex-employee says the mayor told her she would take care of it and to trust her. Days later, according to her complaint, the woman was put on unpaid medical leave without her consent. She was later terminated. Trustees Tammy Brown, Kiana Belcher, and Brittany Norwood did not go on that trip to Vegas. By a show of hands, how many of you knew about these allegations? They tell NBC5 they're stunned to learn about the investigation by the Department of Human Rights and the allegations made by the mayor's former assistant. That could have been any one of us. That could have been either trustee. That could be anybody. I'm furious. This makes no sense. 
I'm hurt and I'm furious. That, that means that these people have known about this for some time. That's the, it's almost a year later. The biggest fear is always how far is this going to go before someone gets hurt. And now I feel like this is what it's come to. The trustees say the mayor should have immediately launched an investigation. They're calling on the mayor and the unnamed trustee to resign. For you to cover up something like this, allegations of someone doing this to someone, is horrible. And you cannot leave the village of Dalton under these circumstances. Everybody involved, if you hold a position, you should resign immediately. And here's my thing with all of this. I understand you can't automatically believe somebody just because they make accusations. However, in her position, you cannot ignore allegations. When the woman says she got medical attention, when she realized what happened, and she went to Tiffany Tahoe along with the officer who also had evidence, an investigation was supposed to be launched a criminal complaint should have been made as well. The purpose of the investigation is to uncover more details, not cover stuff up. So if the accused is charged, that evidence can be presented in court. Instead though, Tiffany completely covered it all up and that's the problem. She told the woman to trust her, then fired her and also retaliated against that police officer. There's already enough shame being, being brought to this village. How much more? How much more? In a statement, trustee Jason House says he did not go on that trip to Vegas. NBC5 reached out to the two remaining trustees for comment, but didn't hear back. The Village, in a statement, told NBC5 it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say former police officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing anything about these allegations and the alleged victim refused to cooperate with our investigation. The statement continues, this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. The village looks forward to defending these allegations and pursuing all other available remedies to the village. Welcome back to Breakdown Friday. Joseph Ward, Professor Carlton Jones, Patrick Irvin. We're talking about Tiffany Henya, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. But before I get into that, I want to say Thank you for the love that people gave because um, I put a post up on Monday letting you know I couldn't do a show because we had some tornadoes rip through the city. So appreciate all the people who showed all, all the love for that. Appreciate y'all gentlemen as well for showing love on that. Um, got a new patron. Let me see. I should have had this ready, but it's all good. You're going to get it how it is. Eugene Brewster, my new patron. Want to shout out to you. Thank you for the support. And uh, I mean, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button too. Y'all hit that like button. Let's get as many likes on these videos as possible. And remember, y'all check out FetLifeStation.com this afternoon, 7 p.m. FetLifeStation.com. You see it on PC six, on the PC. 6 p.m. Oh, 6 p.m. Yeah. now. 6 p.m. now. So, all right. Church announcements. Well, hood church announcements. So, Tiffany Henry, she's the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. And She's running Dalton, Illinois, like it's Popeyes. Like she went to she went to Popeyes University, and she's running Dalton, yeah. Illinois, as if she as if it's Popeyes. Um, That's kind of an insult to Popeyes, though. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You ain't been to Popeyes on Lake Bradford. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. But Popeyes is still no. in business. No, and- <laughs> no, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> Stop trying to do it. No, All it ain't. Right. All right. <laughs> My bad. But, uh, but so basically she's operating as if she's a gangster like with an iron fist like a dictatorship so um from all the allegations that we've heard over months so um i wanted to do this show a long time ago but i want to collect more information and let more things happen so the video that you saw is just one of the many videos that a, a, a number of content creators have put out about this particular mayor, Tiffany Henry of Dalton, Illinois, because she's literally, from the allegations, are terrorizing the residents. Hey, root for everybody black, they say, right? You know, uh, I, we supposed to we supposed to have some representation. We supposed to have people who look like us in positions. That's what they say. But what happened when the people that you put in positions that look like you? have the the mindset and the will of the white supremacists who been put us in the bad position a long time ago with with black folk like this who need white folk but remember 
she has the mind, she has that Negro mindset. She's one of the black folk that if white people disappeared tomorrow, white supremacy disappeared tomorrow, she would continue it. She would be a part of the black regime that would continue it because that's how she get down. So we're dealing with this faulty leadership, but also the people who put her in position. When it comes to putting our own people in positions of power, we got to make sure that we're putting the right people in. We're going to be, like we've always said in the past, as much pressure and as much uh, uh, accountability that we put on our leaders, we got to put on our followers as well. We have to put on our voters. What kind of background checks was done? What kind of just deep diving into who Tiffany Henry was? Who she? Who is she? How much of that was done? How much of it was... Well, I like her, she's popular, or she's a black woman, or she's fit the minority categories. Was it that chose for these people to vote for her to put her, put her in this position? But clearly, 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 something's wrong with that lady. Because the way, if all the allegations are true, and the way she's been treating these people, allegedly she's been literally terrorizing the residents of Dalton, Illinois. And we're about to get into it because... You know, we got to do right. We got to do right. Hey, PC, man, I know you fired up already, my brother. What do you just <laughs> overall, just before the clip, before the clip, your overall thoughts on a lot of the allegations and the stories that have come out about Tiffany Henry? Well, first of all, shout out to Pete Book Lesson because she was the one that broke the story. I know a lot of yeah. news outlets out there trying She'd to steal that. First. She was the first one to actually break that story. So shout out to her on... Um, Niggas, and, uh, yeah, give, give her roses, man. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I've been following this for a long time, and um, well, since she's actually been doing, I think going back to like November, um, she maybe even like, a minute. Yeah, right. She's been on the ass, um, and I think the thing that that really stands out is like the audacity. Like this woman, has, uh, Tiffany here, is drunk with power, and she operates like from a um. You know, like 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 a gangster, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that's the you know. Uh, I mean, she even had, um, I think they even had like a scene that she did where she was, uh, you know, uh, um, um. She, she, what, 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 I, I got it for you. I got it for <laughs> you. She dressed up as Nino Brown, right? Right. So <laughs> it, it was the crazy thing was, so. She she came into a meeting all black had you know dressed up as Nino Brown talking about that's the character she's playing. But so her spin was well no I'm not dressed up as Nino Brown the drug dealer. I was recreating the scene for Martin. Well who was Martin parroting Nino Brown? Right. You were dressed up as Nino Brown. Talking about you were doing dressed up as Martin. No you were dressed up as Nino Brown because Martin was dressed up as who Nino Brown. Right. <laughs> and so, but. That's sort of the thing that she has going on right now. And um and then it just based on um the uh what do they call them out there? They're not the town councilor, I'm the council, but um trustees. the trustees. Mm -hmm. They've been operating from a place of um being intimidated, being locked out of their offices. They don't have access to the um the the financials, the records. Um, and they're the ones that's supposed to be actually controlling that. When you have a town council or uh, council of trustees and things of that nature, they're supposed to be the balance of power on the local level, especially when you come to small towns. And she's not just the um, mayor of Dalton Village. She's also the... Um, Another one. Well, no, no. She, she also has, like, she's the trustee. She runs the Thornton Township. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which, which like um is in charge of like twelve other twelve other townships in that area. So she will yields a lot of power and she has access to a reservoir of taxpayer money. And you know, uh she's been doing a lot of things on her own for her own benefit, which I don't think I think most politicians, if we're gonna be honest. Because I haven't met an honest politician or honest lawyer. So, um, if we're going to be honest about it, honest about people being dishonest, nobody would mind her feather and her cap if she just did right by the people who put her in there. Now, there was a, um, a sister out there that owns 
several properties and several businesses who tried to put a supermarket in place that would benefit single mothers. And they have like a um, like 90 percent of the households out there, like single parent households in um, Dalton Township, from what I understand. So she was going to put a, put together a supermarket to benefit them. Uh, Tiffany, here you blocked that. The businesses that didn't contribute to her political campaign, yep. she's not yep. allowing them yep. to acquire new business licenses, which is illegal yep. because yep. they haven't done anything to violate like right. anything. So, so what she's doing is she's actually doing what the mafia used to do when the yep. mafia tax businesses who did not fall in line, you know, with their um, protection plans. You know what I'm saying? And that's what she's been doing. Also, she's been cooking the books. So at last check, like two, three months ago, the township, which she received, they had a surplus in the budget. Well, since she's been mayor, now they're like $7 million in the hole. That's not even including the last few months because nobody else, she's locked everybody else out of the um, off their money. Well, she's locked everybody else off the system, which is supposed to be like even the public is supposed to be able to go in and see where their tax dollars are being spent. Like, you know what I'm saying? So this is corruption without boundaries. Yes. Of, and unfortunately, we've seen this with a lot of um, black elected officials, whether they be judges, whether they be district attorneys. What are, we, I mean, we're seeing other mayors in other cities. We are seeing this all over the place. And here's the thing. It, it, it even got to the point where, you know, supposedly, you know, there there was there have been some drive bys in here. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Long, allegedly, Long, people's houses have been for not cooperating. Right. Um, the I mean, even when it's petty as to take one of the pictures, like of one of the um, trustees off the wall, and supposedly she walked past mm -hmm. it. Kick the damn picture every day. Like, <laughs> the level of petty in this is really, I mean, she's having meetings when she's telling people you're nobodies and I'm the only somebody that anybody wants to talk to. In session, um, they, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's the level of disrespect and disregard and absurdities that's been taking place. And, it, it, and here's what it happens. See, we we get people who who are not used to anything, not used to being in a position of power, because prior to this, she was one of the trustees that challenged the former mayor about his corruption, about his alleged affairs and things of that nature, only to come into office and not double down, triple, but quadruple down on all of the things she accused him of doing. So allegedly, and we say allegedly because currently there's an FBI investigation going on now. Um, yeah. About what's happening in their office, and they've been subpoenaed. Um, they, they put subpoenas out on uh, documents and um, access to files that everybody else has been locked out of. So we don't know exactly how far this is going to go. But I do say this: when local lo when local law enforcement tends to investigate investigate a crime, typically they'll lock you up first and then go seek the evidence. When the feds come and get you, they've already done the investigation. That's why they have a 90% conviction rate when they take people down. So the fact that the feds are involved, it does not look like it's going to be a good outcome. But the, 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 the bigger picture, and I know we're probably going to get into this later anyway. How does the county, how does the township recover from this? Because they're the ones that put her in office. Patrick said. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm my plan. <laughs> that being said, that Patrick, like overall, what are your what are your thoughts about Tiffany Henry and her mayorship? Just the person in the mayor, just and everything that has happened. Well. <laughs> 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 you Negro thought it was all games, huh? <laughs> you thought it <she> was sweet. <laughs> nah, man, it's foul. It's foul. Like it ain't. This is why 
we tell people you you know you don't have to be an expert at everything but there were certain things that you need to understand on your level and everybody's level is like local politics local what's going on around you it matters it matters yes like the the president the all of that other stuff don't you see it like these people in that area are seeing the true havoc that can be wrought upon your lives by just she's just she's just she's just a little male just a little male more black folk don't even know what the mayor of their town look like yes i said it true but that person she is able to to mess with the lives of the people in that specific community in ways that donald trump never could <laughs> so mm-hmm. and it's not so i look at tiffany here and i'm like tiffany here comes from a long line of black people that ascend to power just to shit on other black people like she's like that tree is well rooted yeah. with a lot of branches she's in the end she's definitely an enemy to black people She's yes. white supremacy and blackface. Right. And see, that's where we get it twisted. We like to say uh, white supremacy and blackface is black people talking crazy and agreeing with white supremacist talking mm-hmm. points. No, mm-hmm. this is white supremacy and blackface. White supremacy and, and blackface is the dudes out on your corner selling drugs, the dudes in your, the people in your community stealing from y'all, the people who are tearing down your community. People, the people who look like you, who are making things worse for you and around you, is white supremacy and blackface. Mm-hmm. And this is where, so, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna go a, a different, a bit of a different direction because I know 70, 80 percent of the black community is is Christian. Old school Christians know their Bibles, not just because they need to know the Word of God, but also because they need to know. If somebody standing in front of them is actually from God or not. Black people need to know their history, know what's going on around them so that they know if the people that are standing in front of them are actually of them or not. This is where we get into these conversations about, do you know your history? No, we ain't talking about national history. Do you know your local history? Do you know where these people come from? Do you know how these things were made? Do you know who making deals with who? And you ain't got to know the ins and outs of it. I ain't saying you got to be an expert in it. But do you know enough to recognize when something don't look right? When something don't feel right? Do you know who to go talk to when you feel off about a situation and you know they got the answers because they do study this stuff? Oh, uh, those are the people you just cast aside and just been like, you know what? I ain't even, you know, man, PC be on that crazy. Man, I don't be f- with him. Joe be on that silly. Man, I don't be f- with him. Meanwhile, they've been for the last three, four years telling you, I look out for Tiffany Hayes. I'm telling you, I didn't see her. And now you didn't elected her because skin color. And well, she's and- a black woman. Right, and she she tapped that she did all of the right moves in her no, top dancing fact, shoes. She, she was a black, she's a black single mother as well, and she tapped all of the right moves in her tap she, dancing shoes. No, but that that's a part of the timeline of events that I had written down because she did play her part using the the, the stick of I'm a black single mother, so I represent. I, I check all the minority boxes and I represent the people. So, you know, you got to elect me because I'm of the people. And now she showed you that she's only of. Sh- but this is where we go back into black folk. Look, we love to talk about discernment and our ability to read <laughs> and see yeah. people. Well, everybody and, know we don't have it, but, you know. And that's where I'm like, no, I'm calling like Tiffany Henry is what Tiffany Henry is can't get mad at a snake for being a snake you a snake is gonna slither that's what she did what i'm calling attention to is all of the people that now want to point the finger at the snake and chastise the snake for being a snake 
Why did you get behind the snake? And I don't hear nobody taking accountability for that. Well, I do. That's a lie. I have heard several of the uh, the the uh, elected officials um, that were supporting her now come out and say they were fooled. Mm-hmm. But I'm not hearing any sort of comments being made about, okay, how do we prevent this from happening again? How do we get her up out of here? Which we know that there was an election that they 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 did all of the recall stuff mm-hmm. a little bit incorrectly and it solidified her spot in the books. But even yet and still, it ain't just about her. Who are these uh, other individuals that are in power that are supporting her? Why aren't they more of them being outed? Right. We see a couple right. of them being outed, but she well, don't get to maintain this level of power without a whole structure of people supporting her. Out all of them. Yeah, yeah. There are too many police officers, too many other uh, political figures and, and others who have power in Dalton who are supporting her, who are turning a blind eye as she does her alleged terrorist acts to the people of Dalton. And like you said, that's the problem. Like, it's a whole bunch of black people watching black people get terrorized by black people. Well, it ain't just black people watching it. Um, We know that black people, unfortunately, have created a standard of being niggas. And when you have culture standards, it's... it's, um, you know, it, it, it's it's a it's a system of carnivores. Like you know, we we eat it, eat each other apart, eat off each other, um, and you know, white folk don't mind as long as we're cannibalizing ourselves. So they watching, but ain't no white folk getting hurt or harmed in this particular rendition of what's going on in Dalton County or all the other places that happen around the country. You saw the one place that white folk was getting hurt um, when uh, in Fulton County. When um, they brought the lawsuit against Donald Trump and they tried to um, put him on racketeering charges, RICO charges, uh, they came after that district attorney. And her, now her whole life has been on trial since that particular situation. So we, we, we know how it happens, but we, we function in a place where we love nigger culture. It's the only place of sexy red and all these other you know, downtrodden sort of um, situations can exist where, you know, we glorify killing each other and we glorify all the darkest things in society and we claim that's black culture. That's nigga shit, not black culture. And because we like it, we don't mind. I mean, people would people were in the comment section of Pink Book Lessons comment section defending it, talking about why don't y'all just let let why don't y'all just let Tiffany eat? Why don't y'all just let her eat? She's cannibalizing, she's eating off of you, dumbass. But why don't we just let her eat? And that's because nigga culture comes with no standards. And therefore, we don't have to worry about anything real to measure up to. And so because we don't have it to measure up to, we don't have no standards in saying this is what you can and cannot do. Vacant this, esteem. Right. And so, you know, and then we develop hero worship. So hero worship is, is in several forms, but one of them is, oh, because we cool with her. I'm cool with the mayor. It doesn't matter how many people the mayor does dirty, right? But hold on, Joe, because we 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 develop this, and then instead we don't deal with righteous was right and righteous causes, and because we don't deal with was right and righteous causes, we don't we we we. we, And I'm not saying what I'm saying. We Negroes, because I don't do this shit. Um, start to gather galvanize around the person. No matter how wrong they are, instead of holding them accountable for all the things that they're not doing based on the cause. Are you meeting the criteria for the cause? Are you are you moving in a righteous direction or doing things as righteous by the people? And because oh, oh, I don't want to, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't want to tell that line because somehow, some way. We feel as though their success is a measure of what we would, what, if we were in that position, we wish we would be able to get away with, we'd be able to have those things, then we don't hold them to the standard that needs to be done for that position in order to help push the um, the, the narrative, push the um, people forward on a path of righteousness in, in regards to doing people right, doing things right that's going to improve the lives of the people in that township, which wouldn't have been hard. So, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to jump in because I know Pat was still talking. 
Um, mm-mm, mm-mm. cook up, bro. Hey, hey, look here. <laughs> look here. So there's a timeline of events that I have uh, for Tiffany Henry, but uh, more context about her being actually elected. Uh, one of the things that she used in addition to the single mother angle, single black mother angle, was she appealed to the older residents of Dalton. So her, um, you know, sugar baby honey and being a good niece, you know, that niece role and appealing to the older people um, in Dalton. So that's one of the things that helped her uh, gain and retain the mayorship of Dalton. Um, she owned a restaurant called Good Burger, you know, like the Good Burger from uh, Ken and Kev, when she owned a Good Burger. But she lost that business because she didn't pay her rent. And she didn't have a, it was on, I forgot what college campus it was on, but it was on the college campus and she didn't get approval from the college to sell food on the campus. So not only was she not paying her rent, but she just pulled up on some people and, mm. and she started. <laughs> so she been, that uh, sounds, that sounds like a red flag. <laughs> she, was, she was janky for, from the onset. <laughs> yeah. She was arrested in 2016 for trespassing. That uh, sounds like a red flag. She was elected. That's a mayor. yellow flag. Uh, <laughs> she was elected mayor in 2021. So um, well, she had all the prerequisites to be elected. You, you gotta be crooked. You gotta have some dirt on you. And that, that's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's politics. So uh <laughs> she held a gas giveaway for for her campaign. Um, yeah. but you know, a lot of people consider that vote buying. So mm-hmm. there's a there's a lot of misappropriation of city funds, shutting down mm-hmm. businesses, uh, terrorizing residents that didn't support her. Uh, you can see in a video earlier, they're talking about the SA allegations, mm-hmm. um, you know, leading up to the FBI raid. This is a, a, multi, a multitude of things that led up to the FBI raid. Um, the, the village residents want her out. Um, of course, she's working against the trustees. There's an, they they tried to do a recall of her, of her as the mayor in 2022, but it didn't get a number the proper amount of votes. Of course, you know there's backlash from that. Um, so she's been a Thornton Township supervisor since 2022. She's accused of using the position and funds to promote herself. Um, matter of fact, she was on the Roller Martin show uh, lying about the Tiffany uh, Henry Foundation or whatever. So basically, mm-hmm. and I might be saying the name of it wrong, but basically, she's Tiffany denied. Cares. Huh? It was called Tiffany Cares. It was Tiffany a um, can, it was a cancer, um, supposedly uh, or or a five or one three C around um, cancer treatment or or just assistance can to assist cancer patients. So she's telling people that um, that's not her. <laughs> Even though there's documentation showing that she set it up and it's in her name, but she's and she she went as far as going on the Roland Martin show and saying that it you know it wasn't hers. But once again, there's documentation showing that she set it up and it's in her name. And she was just like, "Well, some people love me so much that they decided to set up a nonprofit organization in my name." Yeah, all right. Yeah, and so with regards to the recall, I believe she um. Didn't they get the votes one of them times? But the problem was that they held the recall election too soon after they passed the procedures for Some, recall yeah, election. Yeah, and that's how she ended up keeping her position. Yeah, then she vetoed the next. Um, they did it at one meeting, and she vetoed the vote. <laughs> yeah, but but interesting though, what you something you said, Pat, earlier. She's getting away with stuff that Donald Trump wouldn't get away with. That's big. That's a big statement because people talk, you know, black people talk about how racist he is. And, you know, when especially um, in comparison to Joe Biden, they talk about how uh, they believe Trump is much more racist because of his rhetoric. Um, She is racist against black people because of her actions, not just her rhetoric, but her continuous actions, continuous actions. Right. And so we got to start looking at how people actually move, not what they say, but what do people do and what are the outcomes of the things that they do? Um, Forget intentions. Just look at outcomes, because a lot of times we can get caught up in intentions. 
But what are the outcomes? Because the outcomes are the things that really matter, whether they can help us or hurt us, right? But this is, once again, black people putting black people in positions because they're like, well, this is my people. We should support our people. You know, I root for everybody black, that mindset. We we have to be mindful about who we put in position. I don't care what color you are. And we have to be even more mindful about our own people. Why? Because we are the colonized minds. We're the ones that got the Negro minds. We're the ones that have been socialized to become niggas. And so we have to re we have to be honest about who we are and how we were socialized and how we actually operate. And remember, uh, we 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 went over this. And when we were reading Dr. Joy DeGruz's book, talking about the vacant esteem, we don't love ourselves as individuals and we don't love ourselves as a group. We don't have a positive outlook, a positive look upon ourselves, period. We look at ourselves as enemies. So, of course, we're going to treat each other bad. And, of course, I'm not saying this is absolute throughout Black America. Now, all Black people don't operate like this, but too many Black people operate like this. But also in this situation, it was too, it's too many Black people um, complying with what's going on. At, at some point, you're going to have to do something. At some point, you have to raise up. At some point, somebody will have to make a better decision. From my understanding, she has police officers at her whim just ready to run down on people. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Bro, you really I mean, doing that to people? They benefit Sometimes from elderly yeah. people. Sometimes they're doing that to elderly people. What the hell is wrong with y'all? You're a run down on an elderly person because Tiffany Henry's feelings are hurt. Tiffany Henry can pull her bottom lip over her head and swallow. She is a poor excuse for, for melanated skin. She should, she should wake up with leprosy tomorrow. And all all the melanin should be gone out of her skin because she's a poor excuse for a black person. Well, well, Joe, <clears throat> what, what it comes down to is accountability, and we don't I believe left in Tiffany in in my toilet this morning. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, all right, yeah, I definitely. said it. I said it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's a hard one to follow up. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Joe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, Be better. Be better. But it, you know the the crazy part about that and all of it is accountability. And and I remember when we had like um seven judges that were in Fulton County, right in Georgia, that were elected. They were black women that were elected and people are celebrating it. And I was slow on that. Because I've rarely seen black people go to these positions and not do the white man's dirty work. And when you start seeing the things that happen, some of those judges have already been recalled, if I'm not mistaken, just based on their conduct in the courtroom. Um, and there's some other judges around the country, one in particular that was involved in a murder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so... When when you when we examine this, we have to start talking about culture a culture of accountability for which some strange reason. And even going back in terms of when Obama was in office, nobody black was supposed to be able to question his policy for black people. You know what I'm saying? So, right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, it was like it was a, a bunch of guard dogs around him that was ready to attack you. And in the black community, politics is basically if I can intimidate you, talk over you, or talk you down, then I won the argument. Not necessarily based yeah. in any sort of um you know uh reason or any 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 sort of uh <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Sense. <laughs> well <laughs> common sense but intelligence rationality. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So the if you can talk louder than somebody then then you won the argument yeah. in your name like this too. Right. Or if you say <laughs> something or or if you because the common response is hmm, when you say something so mm. you know what i mean so when you question somebody <laughs> on you, and they know they're about they're supposed to say something they know they have to address something that, hmm, it, mm. and it's, it's nothing past that and see that's why when we have these situations pat talked about we have a culture 
that allows for his babies to be devoured by those who we consider who we give our power to. And in that particular sense, it's not just the babies, but the elders as well. Um, in regards to this, because we've allowed it to to, to consider, and we, we look at it from a prestigious standpoint, so it looks good to have all these black women as mayors and stuff like that, and I'm calling it out as I see it, but when... That when, was in Alabama, right? Um, not just Alabama, Georgia. but all of yeah, Georgia, no, but no. all of Are you talking about the judges? Yeah, the specific, the specific place with the six judges. That was in Alabama. That, that was in Georgia. That was Georgia. Okay. okay. So, um, when we call it out, you know, we're the bad guys. You know, you hate black women, this, and the other. But you don't address the behavior of the black women we're talking about. Because we're not talking about all black women. We're talking about these particular ones that have rose up in power and now are and corrupted. You got whole townships getting sued for millions of dollars because of their conduct. Now, the people that live in those counties have to pay for the misconduct of the people you elected that you didn't want to hold accountable for their poor behavior. And the thing is that when we don't hold people accountable, eventually we become accountable for the things we never held them accountable for. And it's the culture is a, re is a repeating cycle that, that's, that's taking place and that we're seeing. And I'm not saying it because we had, you know, yeah, we have uh, brothers that have not performed well and, and have done some corrupt shit. They tend to go down. You know what I'm saying? They get arrested. They go to jail. There was a DA here in Philadelphia, Seth Williams, a co accused of an inappropriate. That motherfucker just got out of jail not too long ago. He went, a DA went to jail. So, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, in terms of the accountability, this is where we have to start looking at in terms of the, because it's sort of like one of those things where, and you mentioned it before, Joe, where um, the, the niece, right? She, she, she's it's a, it's like, oh, poor <laughs> Baby, baby, yeah. baby, we can't do no wrong if we keep Amen. looking at peace. But there you go. But when we look at it from a perspective, standard for, uh, uh, perspective of oh, the niece is getting Granny's house shot up, then then we can start really um, analyzing. Well, is the niece really doing like? Uh, is she really the niece anymore? Has she ever been the niece, yeah. or was she playing a role? I mean, she's she's the niece, but she's the she's the niece who's unhinged. She's the niece who's uncouth. She's the niece who got. She's the crazy ass niece. She's the prob she's the problematic niece. She's the one in the house. She's she's uh, cousin Faith from Soul Food who hunched the hunched uh, Terry husband. Right? She don't want to come in and mess up stuff. Right? But but she's also uh, but but, go ahead. but that makes her, that that makes her an outlier. I don't think she's an outlier. No, she's not an outlier. She's crazy. <laughs> she's a she's a she's an everyday run of the mill now. Now don't get twisted. She's a run of the mill every day. Like yeah. she ain't no special nigga. A nigga. She just got put in a special position and all came out of her. It's been showing before that, but it just came out. She couldn't help it. Like bleh. you know, like she got wet like the gremlins and all popped off of her. So but, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I digress. I digress, man. Because <laughs> I mean, because really, like, what sane person does the stuff that she did, and but, and, but, and 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 what type of what type of person who claims to to love black people or to care about people? Period. Does this to people? Black people don't know how to love black people. Exactly. I mean, you think you look at what's happening here? That same is a microcosm of. Africa, and that's why it, it, Haiti. Look at what happened. Like yeah. you, everywhere you go, there's some and black people seemingly are in charge of something, you know. And there's no culture of accountability that's in place. No standard for what it looks like. Even the people who are supposed to be um, represented by these folk don't have standards. They don't have a way of a, a, a way of functioning and operating. So it's all chaos, confusion, mischief, and mayhem. And this why, you know, as long as we operate like this, as as uh, Dr. Um, Carter G. Woodson said, as long as we operate in this backwards way, we don't have to worry about the white man. We're no threat to the white man. Elderly fully even said, we're no threat to the white man. We do this to ourselves. And we're in right. sort of this, 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 this way of functioning and operating in which... The white man couldn't do this much damage to us. Hey, hey, the white man sitting on his couch eating hot pockets. Look at go. 
Look at him go. <laughs> I think we gotta like, and I'm not even gonna change gears or directions. I just think you know, you look at Tiffany Hanger. Um, we say that like that is that is a maladaptation expressing itself in a situation that it shouldn't be in in the first place, which is why we call it a maladaptation. Like, this is a woman who had no business even being anywhere near where she was. Her mind ain't set up for that. And y'all put her in there simply because of how she looked. Like, I've seen enough of those videos. You, I don't want to hear nobody tell me about <laughs> her policies and I've seen enough videos from the people in that location saying that they just wanted to support a black woman <laughs> simply because of the way she looked she was able to get into a place that she had no business being those are the mistakes that white people are supposed to be making with regards to black folk not black folk nah dog you root for everybody black yeah, okay. Well, you we we see how well that's working because the and then the problem with that is because we're all maladapted, <laughs> we don't even know what functional adaptation, what positive adaptations look like to identify the people that should be there. Because I can guarantee you there are a load of people in that community that probably should be in those positions, but they're not yeah. recognized as such. Because they don't look like what we think they're supposed to look like because we haven't even identified the fact that our own brains are maladapted no. to what we're trying to do. Are you talking about the popularity contest voting? Yeah, I mean, you I, learn that in college. I mean, you learn that at, don't you? They ain't that how we learn how to vote at HBCUs? You walk wherever the popular spot vote, on campus. Uh, that's elementary school, bro. Hey, that's man, look. before. Uh, that's yeah, 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 but it, but it get it get ratcheted up to another night because in college, man, they give away food and stuff. Well, we and don't know have the, events. We we don't know the difference between the SGA student student government association or the prom king or or the homecoming king or queen, and we choose homecoming queens and kings to do the policy work, and that's the biggest problem, and and that's what we we'll go back to you know when I was saying earlier about. How we 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 get to this thing because we like somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like when Obama was in office, all these kept saying my president's black. Like okay, and then what? And the short sightedness of it all is he only has a maximum of two terms. So what thing? What what happens after that? And you don't get nothing out of him but saying my president's black, and you get to put it on the bumper sticker, but you don't get nothing out of it. And then when white folk get in office, the first thing they said was you ain't asked for you so what do you expect from me that tan you know what I'm he had on was nice oh he can he can walk oh my president can sing i mean all the different you know the funny thing is black people said the same thing about another president bill clinton in 92 and he was the one that put in the crime bill like under his under his presidency the crime bill three strikes bills and all those different policies that were put in place that along with the crack cocaine era wrecked the black community from which we have never recovered by the way and you know all we do is it, it you know it speaks to we like i want to say arrested development but arrested development and i was having a conversation with my big bro and um and uh Jagna and, and uh, you just gotta say it. see the rest of development don't offend people we got people that are too comfortable being and i know you're gonna have to bleep this out joe but early and edit this one <laughs> and the bottom line is when you do because we should learn from those mistakes but you can't learn from those mistakes because we keep doing shit same thing over and over again that's somebody with a mental incapability uh, incapacity like pass it with maladapted i think we're just developmentally slow and we're going in reverse so like we're devolving we're not evolving we're devolving in terms of what common sense looks like and what looks like for the better good of the people and we move in this way because we don't have the common sense so right I, I saw, just real quick, I saw a clip from Gaddafi, right? And he's talking about these Chinese gangsters meeting with black gangsters over in China. And he said the uh, yeah, Chinese yeah, gangsters, you, you saw it here. We, mm -hmm. we, we, 
like y'all style. We emulate everything from y'all. But the one thing y'all don't have is unity. And he said, y'all can't even be organized in crime. And you think about it. You look at our neighborhoods. It's full of, I'm not going to say every black person is a criminal, but we got criminals in our neighborhoods. Like We can't put it out there, especially in neighborhoods like mine. I'm in North Philly. Neighborhoods like mine, we got criminals. And they are not organized. Because if you had organization, the people would be safer because your criminal ongoings would be done in such a way you would create a safer environment for the people in your community. We so, don't have that terrorist in the community. So basically what you're saying is you don't like Obama's suit. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is I haven't gotten to the point to even evaluate the type of suit, color suit, or cut a suit Obama wore. I don't care. I care about you hear that, don't you, Pat? You hear I, that, I, don't you, Pat? I can't, I can't compete with you and PC tonight, man. Uh, <laughs> between you dropping shit that are political uh, appoint, uh, elected officials and PC calling people I, I, I tap out. Say something. Go ahead. Say something real quick. Go ahead. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't bang with y'all. I said maladaptive. PC doubled down and said, no. I said, Jesus. Jesus. Like, how can you not be? How, and that's bad. Right? We're joking, but I'm serious. How can you not be? There's still you function this word. Right. Okay. Uh, um, special needs. Short yellow bus. Any of those will work. Like they stayed in one classroom all day long. Any of those will work right now. Like they got out of school 15 minutes early every day. One of those will work. And, you know what I'm saying? and then, Joe, you, you can't give him too much flack because right out the all skin folk ain't kin folk, here you go. I dropped a, Tiff a Tiffany Hinger in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to bleep that out. <laughs> Just how you know, I say it. Because I called man. her a piece of, without calling her a piece of. I, I get it. My, it, no, nah, it's all good. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I, I'm just hey, just I trying to find it off so. because it's frustrating. No, you, man. I'm good, Joe. You I'm know what you do? You 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 take what PC said, you clip it up and put it on TikTok. Tickety tockety, tickety tockety, and then you edit it out of the video, but you still get views out of it. Hey, that works. It ain't getting edited. That oh, you gonna leave PC calling people? In the video, okay. It's gonna get bleak that and you just keep saying it. So that were <laughs> oh, well, gonna cut all this out anyway. So uh, <laughs> it's good content. Who but knows? you know, but the frustrating part is like you is it's and, and you know, um I was in a movement. And and this the frustrating part is I saw this in the movement. It's the same dichotomy playing out. And you got a bunch of, you know, people who want to have a, and it's like I said, and I go back to the fact of the, the success of the creation of the black church on plantations. All those churches on plantations migrated north. So every big mega church you got on, up north somewhere was from the south and from the trenches were created in the fires of that church that was built on a plantation to help black people be loyal to mass up, but also to teach black people to be not full of scripture, but full of emotion. And they call it the Holy Spirit. And so for, because you can make people feel good for two seconds, then people buy into whatever you're selling them. And you can sell it on a platter. I know you're going to have to clip that out. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can serve them that, and they're still going to eat it because it feels good to eat. Steaming hot. And this is what we, and, but this is the culture. So Tiffany, you know, as, as terrible as Tiffany Henry is, she's a terrible person. Right? Yeah. Allegedly. She's a terrible person. But the people that put her there, like we talk yeah. about Frankenstein's monster, right? And we call that Frankenstein. That's not Frankenstein. We are never do anything about the people who create Frankenstein's monster. Dr. Frankenstein is the ones. We're a bunch of, we live in a community where full of Dr. Frankensteins creating these monsters and then we create, we, we complain about the monsters that get created, but we don't stop the factory that creates them. It's like the Joker movie. You created this monster. You allowed to, and then you gave her free reign to terrorize people for as long as possible. And then now the people want to fight 
fight back and, and speak what? out. But shame on everybody who's been supporting her. If you're a black person and you live in Dalton, Illinois, and you've been supporting Tiffany and you, despite all the bullshit been doing, pull your bottom lip over your head and swallow. The world would be better without you. And to <laughs> Tiffany and you, I found you in my nose this morning. <laughs> and I wiped you on a piece of napkin. And I flushed you down the toilet, but then you kept coming up. You know, it's funny, right? And I, was that your closing? Like, were you closing out? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. About, but go ahead, do what you do. Do what you do. No, no I'm just. Gonna say, I mean, because it, in, I mean, look at all the HBCUs. Ran like every that, year, some of them are fighting for certification. They got issues with budgets. Damn it, Jackson Jackson um, State University. Was bringing in the money when Deion Sanders came there, and they kicked him the f out. He ran them out, <laughs> and, ran, and, and celebrated it. These Negroes were in the bleachers, talking, singing songs to him leaving. You know what I mean, and so th this is the uh, this is like the uh, everything that was right about the situation they made wrong, and they were proud of it. They stood in it, ten toes down. And this is the stuff we're talking about. This is why I say that, you know what I'm saying? They got out 15 minutes early. They were in the classroom all day long. Same one. You know what I'm saying? Only came out for lunch and recess, and they couldn't play with everybody else. This is the one. You got some of y'all have helmets on. This is the one. Because <laughs> it, it, there's, there's no logic behind it. And, and I'm talking about the ones running the institutions, but also the ones that support the ones running the institutions. Because when, when you operate like this, it's like, no, close your eyes, pretend that you're anywhere in the world, and a bunch of niggas is running. This is what it looks like. And until we fix that, fuck, we can't talk no liberation. Of, liberation for what? To have the Tiffany hangers on the top of the hill running it? Y'all do like this. Y'all do like <laughs> this with me. Do like this with me. And then say, and then say, I root for everybody black with my eyes closed and only my emotions. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't take that whole. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, but that, but that's, that's basically what's going on. So we have to stop aiding in our own demise. You know, stop, stop riding with people just because they black and you didn't check them out thoroughly or you overlooked the red flags that were there. Because they were black and they checked all the minority boxes or just because mm -hmm. they were black and you like to see black people or uh, uh, <laughs> you like to see black people from your town or your school or whatever things that you have an emotional connection to. We're grown when we're going to get out of our emotions and get into a, a proper headspace to understand that we have to stop with the bull. We have to learn. We have for, for those of us who care, love yourself. Continue to love yourself. For those who don't care, you're gonna keep getting Tiffany Henyard. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, Patrick Irvin, Professor Carlton Jones, Joseph Ward. Remember FatLifeStation.com. Check it out. Remember hit that like button. And no, we do what we do, man. We're gonna keep rolling out these videos once again. So appreciate everybody who's uh, sending out love and support doing that doing these tornadoes that rip through the city. We back. We back. We back. We back. Love y'all.